we had worked with, you know, me and Randy have been around the block for a long time and, and many of the other staff have been too. And we have dealt with these regulators, the same regulators uh, from the FDIC, the Federal Reserve that were dealing with the, the failed banks were the same individuals that were involved in the savings and loan crisis. So we went back 30, 35 years with many of these same individuals. But they also understood how we did business over those 35 years. And we do business a little bit differently than the investment bankers. I mean, we look at more of a granule level. In other words, what makes a good acquisition a great acquisition? And usually that's all the details between signing a definitive agreement and how you're going to integrate an organization into yours from a cultural standpoint, from an operational standpoint, and um, from a managerial um, aspect. And so when we were uh, working on the failed bank um, acquisitions, the FDIC knew how we trained our, our potential buyers and our clients to get ready for those. They knew that we took an organization many months prior to them even bidding on an organization and trained them and got them ready so that there would be no unknowns when they actually did a failed bank acquisition. And so when we walked into the front door on Friday night and the FDIC knew that the bank that was acquiring this failed bank, the FDIC was assured from the front end that that bank was trained and ready to take over that organization, which really saved from a headache standpoint, the FDIC's job of liquidating that organization to the buyer. And so even though we were never compensated by the FDIC, they knew on the front end that with our clients walking in with the knowledge and the expertise going into it that they had, that their job would be much easier going forward on, on completing the whole process of taking over and turning over that organization to our clients.